Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, it's a spotted bass. It's not a bad one. He's, he might, he's, he's 12. Might. Maybe. Be right at it. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's 12. It's probably like a pound, but I mean. Oh, well, this one's 119. Oh, really? Yeah. Or 116. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's a spot. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's a large mouth. No, it's not. I think it's a spot. No, it's not. Surprised he jumped out of the water. His mouth goes past his eye. It's large mouth. Yeah. Remember you caught that other little one? Yeah, ever since I had caught the big one. Hey, we were just talking about It's 3.20, February 25th, Saturday. Like the Ozarks here. And uh, we got five keepers for thirteen fifty four. Okay, but we got here like <laughs> we got here like nine forty, and have six keepers and fifteen fish, and we're getting ready to try to upgrade to a fifteen pound bag at least. Yep. So finish the day strong. What what have we been catching fish on today? Well, today we've been using jerk baits and uh, little crank baits. I've been using a wiggle wart. Cole's been using a bandit, and working pretty good. And we're only in one cove, really, so we're doing pretty good, I feel like. Well, today I caught a five pounder on a mega bass jerk bait, but I'm not going to be using that no more because I broke off the lip. Yeah? Nah. Eleven? Oh my gosh. He is so cold. Yeah. I'll get the release. Boy. Boy, it's a good one. Uh -oh. Yeah, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, big old spotted bass. Yeah. Fight, boy, fight. Is that a spotted bass? Uh, oh, if that's a spotted bass. Oh my gosh! That's a spot, baby. It's a really nice spot. That might be too man. Holy crap, look how he's got some shoulders on. Wow. Wow. That's big. Okay, he's bigger than I thought. What is he? Two, three, three. Oh, okay, more so we caught um, 11 keepers and uh, caught them on a jerk bait and a crank bait. So the jerk bait we caught them on was a. A Mega Bass Vision 110. The crankbait was a bandit. Just like that. Uh, this Mega Bass, I ended up breaking off the bill. Yeah, that sucks. But, uh, you know, the steeper banks, we caught a uh, fish off a of jerk bait. It was like 3 to 10 second pause. And then on shallower banks, we used a crankbait. And if it wasn't bouncing on the bottom, then we didn't catch any fish on it. 
Um, the biggest fish came off the jerk bait, and uh, I think I caught about 10 on the jerk bait. The rest came off the crank bait. So I was using this uh, Revo winch. Uh, it's a really great reel, super smooth, uh, cast great. Um, that low, that low speed is really important when the water's cold because you don't want to reel too fast and, and jerk it away from the fish. And so that's real important. Had that matched up with a Mojo Bass uh, crane bait rod. It's actually called the Target Cranker. It's kind of a mid-size, uh, 610. It's a glass rod. Uh, it's really great. Works awesome with this winch. I love throwing crank baits on it. Uh, for the jerk baits, I used a a Skeet Reese jerk bait top water rod um, with a Revo S. Abbe Garcia Revo S. Um, really great reel. It's a six six three to one gear ratio. You don't want too slow of a gear ratio when a jerk bait because you have a lot of slack line. You want to make it up when you get a get a bite. So that's what I use for jerk baits. And uh, we kept we kept track of the fish all day on a on a connect scale, which is pretty cool. Um, we just wait and it would go right to my phone. So this is what it looks like, and it tells me where, how big it was. So we can go back and see what our best five was. We have a tournament on Lake of Those Arcs in two weeks, so uh, probably get out on Lake of Those Arcs this weekend again to see if I can figure anything out for the tournament. Um, Probably fish a completely different part of the lake because where we caught them this weekend is way far away from where uh, we're tournament fishing, but we'll try to figure them out. That's it. I'll try to make a video next week on uh, next weekend whenever we go to the Lake of those arcs and trying to figure them out. And then the uh, tournament the following weekend after that. So.